Hello, and welcome to this STM32 built-in USB bootloader getting started video. The ST built-in USB bootloader supports the Universal Serial Bus Device Firmware Upgrade Protocol to program and reprogram STM32F devices through the USB peripheral. Check for eligible STM32 products supporting this function in Table 1 of Application Note AN3156, available on www.st.com. The key benefits of the USB DFU bootloader are no specific tools, such as JTAG, ST-Link, or USB to UART cable are needed. The ability to program an empty STM32 device in a newly assembled board via USB and upgrade STM32 firmware during development or pre-production. The example given in this video uses the STM32F072 USB device and its discovery kit as demonstrator. First, go to www.st.com and search for Defuse. Defuse is ST Microelectronics USB device firmware upgrade PC software GUI. A Linux version of Defuse called DFU Util is accessible at dfu-util.gnumonks.org. Now download the Defuse package. Save the file and unzip it into a local directory. Open the directory and install the defuse tools corresponding to your computer processor. Open the program files to see what has been installed. The DFU driver included in the package may be useful if the automatic driver installation that we will see later in the video is not successful. Here is the DFU utility tool used to generate a .dfu file from a .hex or .s19 project output file. We will load a simple program available from the examples provided in the STM32F072 discovery firmware package. Let's take this example, toggling an LED when pushing on the user button. Select the executable file, generate it, choose the .dfu file name and location, and save it. We will now use this .dfu file with the defuse demo application to program the device. You can find the application inside the STMicroelectronics directory then in the Defuse folder. First, we must have the board connected to the PC. Open the Device Manager to see how the DFU device appears. When the board is connected to the USB, the demo is starting, but your DFU device does not appear. To enable the STM32F built-in USB bootloader to run, the boot zero pin must be connected to VDD. Then, reset the application. The USB bootloader is now running. The board is detected as a DFU device. Now let's load your new application program. Choose the .dfu file that you previously generated. And simply push the Upgrade button. The device is now correctly upgraded with your new firmware. Your DFU device is still listed in the Device Manager until you reset your application without the Boot Zero pin connected to the VDD. After the reset, your application will execute your new program, and you can see that the DFU device has disappeared from the Device Manager list. We have seen in this video how easy it is to program an application based on USB STM32F0 devices using its embedded DFU program. For more information about the device firmware upgrade protocol, read Application Note AN3156 and User Manual UM0412 
Available on www.st.com/stm32. Thank you for your attention.